Hi, my name is Dr. Ward. This is your redox tip of the week. So one condition that we're seeing ever so much more of in these days has to do with adrenal insufficiency. So what is, what is adrenal insufficiency? We hear about this. It has to do with our little adrenal glands that sit right next to our kidneys. They're involved in producing hormones like cortisol that support our metabolic functions of our cells. Our cortisol levels are supposed to be higher in the morning, a little lower in the afternoon, come back up overnight. Problem is, as we fall out of balance with our metabolism, and we develop thyroid problems or diabetes or obesity or hormone problems, the adrenal gland starts working overtime to fill in the gap. It's our survival gland. And when we're stressed, it kicks into action. Well, it'll do that for a while, and then it gets tired and starts to become deficient. And if it's deficient, that's a clue that we're falling way out of balance because he's the last man standing. So what can we do to help? Well, if we can correct some of those other metabolic problems, we'll certainly support the adrenal gland. But this little organ is a redox sensitive organ and redox molecules are required in the metabolism and creation of cortisol. Cortisol comes from cholesterol and it is manufactured in the gland. In the manufacturing process, if there are not adequate resources of redox molecules, you're not going to produce this hormone efficiently. And so you just may go without. We know that antioxidants like vitamin C support the adrenal gland. Adaptogens, uh, boswellia, ashwagandha, different supplements can support our adrenal function. But in the final analysis at a molecular level, it's redox molecules that are pivotal in the production of cortisol. So that's your redox tip of the day. If you want to learn more about adrenal glands and adrenal insufficiency, take a look at our website at theredox.com and look at our videos. Thank you very much.